hello and welcome back to another vlog if you're new my name's lauren i have a really exciting spring clothing haul to start off this vlog i wanted to thank princess polly for working with me on today's video i have a ton of cute dresses skirts and then a top to share with you guys that are perfect for spring spring weather is coming i live in florida so it's basically summer year round so the hot weather is here but these are perfect for any upcoming trips you have i know a lot of people once spring hits if you live up north you're ready to get to warm weather so these are the perfect outfits to pack with you on your next trip i also did want to say that there will be try on clips of me wearing each piece throughout this portion so you can see exactly what it looks like on me i am 5'2 for reference so i am on the shorter side so keep that in mind and then i will list my size in each piece in the description down below okay so first is this really gorgeous pink floral maxi dress it is a triangle style top and it does have a little tie in the front so you can kind of make it looser or tighter depending on how small or how large your chest is it zips up the side and it does have some elastic in the back so if you are between sizes it kind of helps because it does allow a little bit of extra room in the back so that's nice it is double lined about halfway through the dress and then it is kind of more sheer towards the bottom spaghetti strap the straps aren't adjustable so keep that in mind but truly love this dress i think it's so pretty and perfect the floral pattern really screams spring and i love it okay next is this dress it's kind of out of my comfort zone i don't normally go for dresses like this but i thought it was so fun and it comes in so many other colors so if white's not your color they have so many other fun colors but what I love about this dress is you can kind of wear it two separate ways. You can wear it off your shoulders, which is how I'm wearing it in the try-on, or you can wear it up on your shoulders and get two different styles. It has puffy sleeves and it's puffy towards the bottom. It kind of has a little bit of tutu material in the dress at the bottom, so it kind of allows it to kind of flare out more. Super fun, perfect for spring and i love it i'm excited to have it in my wardrobe next is this gorgeous blush mauve pink floral dress it's bustier style with some lace detailing at the top i did want to mention this dress does run on the smaller side so if you are between sizes i would size up it has a zipper up the side kind of an open back and it ties the straps are adjustable and then it has a little tie in the front i think it's so cute i might wear this for my birthday in a couple of weeks i think it's the perfect dress next is this brown little mini dress it's kind of linen material linen looking it has some ruching at the top with a little tie you can kind of make it looser or tighter depending on how large your chest is adjustable straps little ruffle detail at the bottom i do love the back it's lower back and it has buttons down the middle i think it's so cute comes in multiple colors and it's perfect material for spring okay that's it for the dresses i'm going to share the romper that i got next i've been eyeing this romper for so long it's this really pretty tiny floral print pattern it has little ties on the straps cute ruching on the top zips up the back and it kind of ruffles out at the bottom i think it's super cute i love the floral pattern i feel like i had to throw in a romper i love rompers they're just so easy you can dress them up dress them down and i love this one next is the cutest lace tie top it is sheer but it is kind of double lined towards the top but it has these two ties where you can kind of make it looser or tighter depending on how you want it to fit sheer throughout cute little sleeves um, you can totally wear a bralette underneath it to kind of give yourself more coverage if it's too open but you can wear it multiple different ways you can wear it with shorts jeans a skirt i think it's the perfect top to have in your closet for spring okay this next one's gonna be hard to show because it is a two-piece set but next is this little white bandeau style top and skirt set this is so cute i have it tucked up underneath my bra but you can leave it untucked as well i show in the try on 
both ways but I have it tucked up in my top to kind of make it a little bit more cropped to separate the pieces a little bit more but I think this is so cute this is a double lined skirt has a little slit in the back to make it easy to walk in you could totally use this as a cover-up dress it up dress it down I think it's so cute and perfect okay next piece I got is this midi skirt it has a slit up the front it's this cute red floral pattern it's meant to fit a little bit high waisted on you there is minimal give in this skirt so if you are between sizes maybe size up you could wear this with a white tee like i have it styled you can dress it up a little bit more wear a bodysuit underneath it kind of wear it multiple different ways lastly is this pink and red floral skirt i think this skirt is meant to be a little bit more low rise than it is high rise i feel like you can wear it multiple different ways maybe if you want it to fit more low rise you can maybe like size up if you want or if you want it to fit more high rise you could maybe size down i got my normal size so it kind of hits me a little bit mid rise but could totally pull it down to fit more at my hips as well no slit it's pretty long but it doesn't scrape the floor i'm 5'2 so if you are a little bit taller it might hit you a little bit higher on the leg that is everything that i got from princess polly and i have a 20 percent off discount code which is such a great deal i'll put it on the screen right here it's 20 l c i'll also put it in the description box with the link to every single piece that i got hope you guys enjoyed this little spring haul definitely let me know which piece you guys are picking up from princess polly in the comments down below but thank you again princess polly for working with me on this video Hello, it's later. I just got home from running some errands. I took some clothes to Play-Doh's closet since I got new pieces in from Princess Polly. I wanted to kind of like go through my closet and like clean out stuff to like make room for the new clothes that I got. So I took some clothes to Play-Doh's. I tried to take an Amazon box to get returned, but UPS closed early today. They closed at three. So I'll just have to take it after work one day, which is totally fine. I'm about to fix up my hair a little bit. We're trying to decide on where we want to go to dinner. I want to wear one of my new dresses that I got from Princess Polly. So we're trying to go somewhere. I want to get a photo in it. And um, so we're kind of trying to brainstorm and figure it out. But I'll obviously bring you guys along with. I'm also filming a day in my life for TikTok. It's kind of just like a montage. And then I'll probably do a voiceover. So I've been like doing two things at once. So I'm also trying to get like different content for TikTok too. But this is like my first day in my life that I'm filming for TikTok. So I think I'm going to try and do more of those more often. We'll see. I'm filming one of those. So by the time this video is up, that one will probably be up. So I'll link my TikTok down below. I'm just trying to be like a little bit more active on TikTok just because it's so fun and I do like TikTok. But like I've said before, I just love YouTube. I feel like this is really where I can like be myself and you like get to know me a little bit more than just like a quick like 15 seconds of my life. You kind of get like more minutes in my life and I don't know, you can kind of just, I feel like you get more of my personality here on YouTube than you would on TikTok, but I don't know. I like YouTube, it's my favorite, so this will always be my favorite platform, but I'm gonna try TikTok day in my life and see how it goes. Okay, just changed and freshened up for dinner. We're going to a new place called Park Avenue Tavern and it's right by Park Avenue. And I'm wearing one of the dresses that I shared earlier today in the Princess Polly haul. And I'm so excited to wear it. So I'm gonna try and get a photo in it before we sit down for dinner but that's what i'm wearing and just the jewelry that i had on today hand chain rings bracelet i'm just wearing little sandals with the dress but we're gonna head out and head to dinner i'll let you guys know if it's good never tried it i think it's just like american food but i'm excited <laughs>
Christian is currently doing laundry and I'm getting ready. I think I'm gonna go to Costco to get some eggs because we just ran out of eggs and used the last bit of them this morning, but it's the next day. I'm doing my makeup and I recently got the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I was gonna pick it up during the sale and I was like talking to my friend Taylor because she's a VIB rouge and I am only like the middle tier one. I'm not a rouge anymore. I used to be, but just like not anymore. I don't buy that much makeup or skincare. So it's hard to maintain that status. So I was gonna buy this during the sale and she had one that she didn't use. So she gave it to me and I've been using it and I really like it. My favorite contour stick is the, um, there's a hair, is the Merit Beauty one. I love it. It's super buildable and natural. This I've noticed, it's really easy to kind of like overdo it. Yesterday I used it for the second time and I had to like restart my makeup because I put too much on. Yeah, I've really been liking it and I just use the, I shared these in my last vlog. Um, I got a new brush set off Amazon and I just use um, this. I think it's like a foundation blender brush, but I use that to kind of like blend it into my cheeks. But I've really been liking it. I never buy new makeup, so it's nice and fun to have like a new product to use since I don't really buy new makeup. I'm just such a creature of habit. And once I find something I really like, I just use it when it comes to makeup because I get scared to try something new and like not like it and then I'm stuck with it on my face. So it's been fun having that. I really wanna try the blushes next, but this for sale already started and I'm pretty sure by the time I'm, like my access opens, I'll probably be sold out, so whatever it's fine they're pretty pricey for products um i do want to try the rare beauty one it's like half the price of the charlotte tilbury um blush but um i also am filming another tiktok day in my life today i like kind of decided late so i didn't really do like a the morning whatever I kind of like wanted to do it just like later after I uploaded the one from yesterday because it's so easy to just like film, do a quick voiceover and upload and it's just such like a fun outlet. Right now I'm just like having fun. So um, I'm filming another one today and I'm gonna post it probably tomorrow and then I'll probably try and do a workday one. It's hard now because at work, more people are starting to be in the office so it's kind of hard to like film myself in there because there's just so many people now and it used to just be me in that one little area and now it's like me and someone else that's there every day and then Monday and Friday there's about to be four other people including me and then Wednesday there's like two other people so it's like kind of hard because there's someone that sits like right behind me Monday through Friday now. So I don't know how that's gonna, it's gonna be hard, but I'll try. Like it might be easier for TikTok stuff because it's on my phone instead of like on my camera, but we'll see. I'm gonna try and do that. So I'm just having fun with it right now. It's been, yesterday it was like really fun to film for a TikTok vlog. So if you guys saw it, let me know if you want me to continue doing it because I'm like having fun with it and I think I could get some kind of like different content over there too. Yeah, I'm getting ready and yeah, I need to go to the grocery, get some stuff for meal prep, you know, the usual Sunday stuff. Oh, I shared this on my TikTok but I didn't share it on YouTube. I got I got some new cute like little sets off of this one's from Amazon. It's like a little onesie, floral onesie. I think I'm gonna like wear it to bed tonight. I think it's so cute. I'll link it. It's always linked on my Amazon storefront. I have like a PJ set section on there 
and I put this in there. The picture does look kind of different. It looks, I think it looks cuter than the photo and um, I'm really happy about it. So I got this, I think I got it in a size small and I have a longer torso and it fits um, pretty well on a longer torso. I'm not really tall, but I do have like a longer torso and it's not like too tight or anything like that kind of runs like like a good size. It's like a good comfy size. So I got that and I also got this little PJ set off of Shein and it's just this little, it's like spring florals, <laughs> really spring over here. This little tank top and then shorts. I could have done probably a bigger size. It's not like super tight in the waist, which is good, but it is just kind of short and what, the worry for me with sizing up would be the top because I don't have like a large chest and I feel like if I did size up, maybe the top would be too big, but I'll link this down below. I'm loving PJ sets to bed. I love them. They're so cute and there's so many cute ones on Amazon and then I just got this one on Shein. So I do um, need to share, I ordered stuff off of Skims and I need to share what I got off there. I got some really cute things and I'll probably share it in my next vlog. I'll do like a little skims haul. And so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna finish getting ready and pick up the camera in a little bit. home from the grocery store a little bit ago and we had chipotle for lunch i'm about to prep our lunches for the week we're gonna do pasta salad again this week we really love this recipe and it gives us five meals it turned out holding up pretty well in the fridge for five days so we have five meals out of this so i'm gonna prep this now i'll put the recipe again in the description box just in case you guys are interested it's really good really filling and satisfying so i'm gonna prep all the veggies that's what takes the longest and then after that it's just easy you combine it all and put it into containers and that's all so i'm gonna prep it now It's a little bit after 10. I just got out of the shower. I'm doing my skincare for the night. I'm still doing the skin cycling. So tonight is the tretinoin night. And then just the eye cream that I use. And then I just started incorporating this Korean skincare essence that I got off Amazon. It has crazy good reviews. I use it morning and night. Just started using it, so can't really say much. There's like no scent to it. It just feels like a gel on your skin. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, this is something that I'm incorporating and I'm really excited to try it based on the Amazon reviews. It's incredible. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll also link it. It's pretty affordable. It's around $20 and it's pretty decent size. Just wanted to share. I forgot to share it earlier in this vlog until I just did my skincare just now before bed, but yeah, that's something new that I'm incorporating in. So, we'll see how it works. But I'm so tired, I just wanted to go ahead and end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.